thorium. It's literally everywhere. Whenever I consider threats about new nuclear, it's either nuclear fusion or thorium that is being brought up as the wonder fuel and technology of the future. The question I want to answer is this. Is thorium the fuel of the future? First, why thorium? Thorium can be used to create uranium-233, which can then be used to create energy. Natural uranium, which consists of U-235 and mostly U-238, has a bad reputation. People think about waste and nuclear bombs when they hear uranium and think of modern-day nuclear power plants. Does all of that go away by switching to thorium? No, these perceived problems are still there with thorium as well. Sure, there are less transuranic products and making bombs is a different and perhaps more difficult process. But the issues are still there. Luckily, we have frameworks in place to prevent the abuse of these materials. And storing spent nuclear fuel, so-called nuclear waste, is easy. Some people argue that thorium is more abundant, and that's true, but it's not more easy or harder to get than uranium. Both are plentiful and will last us for thousands if not millions of years. Other questions. Has thorium been used before? Yes, thorium has been used as a fuel additive in a couple of reactors in the US before shipping port and the molten salt reactor experiment. Since it was used as an additive and not as the main fuel load, this begs the question, has thorium ever been used as a main fuel? Not that I know of, perhaps in China or India or somewhere else, but I'm not aware of such experiments. But does that mean that nobody is planning to use it as a main fuel? Now that's a different matter. We know China and India as countries are working towards using thorium as a fuel. There are also companies trying to design thorium fuel reactors, but there are hurdles that need to be overcome. Regulators, for instance, are unfamiliar with thorium as a fuel and have to perform more research before they can license thorium reactors. There's no industrial thorium supply chain. And thorium is now regarded as a waste product. That's not to say that thorium is bad. I actually think it is a golden opportunity waiting to be grasped. The question is when. India and China might do it within the 2020s, at least in an experimental sense. In the meanwhile, we must focus on keeping existing nuclear power plants open and building new ones. Think about modern light water reactors like the Russian VVER and many Asian designs. Reactor startups like Terrestrial Energy are working on so-called molten salt reactors and they are trying to commercialize the first uranium-fueled liquid reactors in the 2020s. These can be used to create electricity, potable water, hydrogen, and process heat using uranium. Others will follow with a plethora of different designs suited for different scenarios. Think about eliminating the threat of nuclear war by consuming bombs. New nuclear scientific breakthroughs, like the chemical separation of spent nuclear fuel and using the products for energy production, medicine, and so on. The fuels of the future will be uranium, thorium, spent nuclear fuel, and atomic weapons. Let me clarify. We must consider expectations versus reality. People think that thorium might be the solution, but current light water reactors that run on uranium are fine, and that's a reality. Their so-called waste is not a problem. New reactors are being designed to use thorium and uranium and other fuels. These will take a decade or more to get to the market. So the reality is that first we must build new contemporary nuclear reactors to bridge the gap.
simple light water reactors, pressurized water reactors, boiling water reactors. And we might expect newer designs to become available and mass producible by the 2030s. Thank you all for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And have a nice day. Bye bye.